Good morning, it's Thursday, the 30th of July, 2015. Good morning from United Kingdom Talk. I thought we'd do the old uh, YouTube as well today, but that doesn't mean you're not going to send in your messages because I'm watching your messages as well today. Let, let's try this again and see how we get on. All right? I, I'll try and... Um, I've kind of got an idea in my head that we can just do these both at the same time when we see. Good morning to Chris... Good morning to other Chris. Yeah, well, I, I you say I've dressed up. Look, I came in like that. That's how I walked in the door. OK, and uh, Kelts, this is my maroon jacket. If I can tell you this now, this good morning, Dino. This I bought morning, Callum. For a school disco thing that I was DJing at, it was about five years ago now, and it, it had a little like stick on badge type thing, but I took that back off again. It was, it was only like, I don't know, it just kind of pressed on and peeled back off again. And uh, I think it looks quite, it quite looks quite nice, doesn't it? I've got a few different jackets, as you may well know, Chris. Oh, yes, this is just the burgundy one. Is Wendy with us yet? Not sure if Wendy's there or not. Now, you can also watch this particular show on YouTube live. If you want to, just go to youtube.com forward slash Chris Reardon UK and it appears in widescreen and so many more colours, dear. So many more colours. How lovely is that? Now, this is a phone in or Skype in if you want to. Some people are just kind of listening in bed, observing in bed. Who's under the covers? Who's under the covers? If you were watching my little broadcast this morning... Um, you will, you will know, let me just take a note of the time there. You will know that I, I've changed, I've put my flannelette sheets back on the bed. Jim jams. I don't wear, I don't wear anything in bed, Kelts. I haven't done for, blimey, I don't know, about 30 years. I just don't wear anything in bed at all. Crucial is here. DJ Crucial. Head DJ in Essex. Oh, you've got little, little shorts on. Kelts has got a Jim Jam shorts on. I, I don't wear anything at all in bed. But I have changed back to the flannelette sheets because I've been quite cold the last couple of nights. And, of course, you know, I haven't got quite to the point yet where I've had to um, pull out the winter... Um, winter uh, duvet. I, I haven't quite done that. Now, DJ Cruz, what do you mean you've, you, you're shattered? You've just picked up another car. What do you mean? I don't know what you mean. Have you just bought another car? What have you got? Is it a nice car? I've only got a Toyota Yaris. Ah, what have you got? What have you got? DJ Crucial has another... What's your name again? I can't keep calling you DJ Crucial. What car have you got? A Seat Ibiza FRTDI. Well, I know the T... That's the turbo diesel. Have you know, anyone noticed how diesel suddenly got cheaper than petrol? Only by about a penny. Jay, OK, Jay, mate. Uh, only by a penny, but nevertheless, it's the first time I've seen diesel cheaper than um, uh, 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 petrol for years. It's got to be 10, 15 years. How's that happened? And have you noticed... Good morning, Rusty. We're loving those pictures you keep sending out. Oh, yeah, it may well be that the whole pr wholesale price has gone down, but prices don't, they seem to go down when someone comes on the telly from the government and says, hang on a minute, why are the prices still different? And then it starts changing again. Have you know, anyone noticed that? Yes. Yes. And we all bought diesel, didn't we? I've got a, a toy, I've had diesel cars, oh my God, for 23, 24 years now. I have. I had a diesel... My first diesel car was a diesel Escort. That worked. That, that was great. And then I think ever since that... that I, I, after, once I'd gone to diesel, I never went back to petrol. I've stayed with diesel all these years and I've had Land Rovers. Oh, I love the Land Rover. Oh, God. I had three of those. Land Rovers. I was doing quite well at work. And... Um, it's, it's quite funny how that came about, buying a Land Rover. <laughs> Crucial, that is absolutely true. I hate to tell you that, mate. <laughs> Don't go there on this family-based programme. <laughs> um, I, and I had Defenders. Do you know the Defender Land Rover? Why are you not driving, Chris? Have you been a naughty boy? Chris, why are you not driving at the moment? Or have you just not got a car? 
eh? So I had a red Land Rover, a blue one and a silver one. One after the other. I was just doing quite well at the time. And I loved it. I just loved it. And the way that came about, I had a Golf before the Land Rover. Oh, okay. I had a Golf before the Land Rover. And after the Golf, I had a, a green Golf, which was a Series... Th not a Series 3, is it? Mark 3. A Mark 3 Golf, which was great. I had that for a couple of years. And then I bought a Mark 4 Golf. And there was always something wrong with it. Electrical problems kept appearing on it. An example. So, you know, you'd be driving along and you get get out the car and the door wouldn't open. But you'd take it in and they'd fix that. And then a few days later, one of the other doors wouldn't open and they'd fix that later. And th this carried on for ages. And they would keep saying, oh, why, why don't you just pop it, pop it back in the garage? You know, like it's an easy thing to just pop in the garage. And it's not, is it? All these places are quite out of the way. I got fed up with it. And, and, and in the end, close to the end of its um, warranty period. Oh, gosh. I, I can't remember what year that was, um, Jay. Can't remember. Can't remember. I'm going to guess. Oh, let me add, add some things up. So three, 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 six. Oh, was it six? I think it's six. No. Hang on. Three, 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 six, three, one. Okay, uh, and two. Three, six, nine. Twenty years ago. I would say it was twenty years ago. <laughs> Lottery. It's twenty years ago, whatever whatever the um uh number plate was around then. Okay. And uh, so this this blue golf and it just kept going wrong. And in the end, something went seriously wrong with it. And I took it back in and they said, oh, they had to change the computer. Engine computer system. I don't know what it was called anyway. So they did it under warranty. And it was just about to go out of warranty. And I said, I said to them, uh, what what will... How much would that have cost me? And, at the and they said £500. Now, bear in mind, this was 20 years ago. So £500. And I thought, my God, what if I'd have had to pay for that? And knowing all these electrical problems I've had, I then decided to get rid of it. I actually got rid of it. And what happened? I, w I drove into Land Rover. I, I quite like the idea of the Freelander. My uncle, Uncle Malcolm, who's no longer with us anymore, he had a Freelander. And I thought, I'll give that a go. So I went in there. And I said, like, like a test drive, please. And I've got to say, the customer service was not good. The Land Rover customer service was not good, right? And I test drove this Freelander, and he said, well, what do you think? And I said, oh. I said, to be honest, it, it just felt to me like a big car, you know? It, it didn't feel... Like what I expected a Land Rover. I, I don't know what I expected it to feel like, but the, the, the Freelander just felt like a big car. That's how it felt to me. He said, OK. He said, do you want to try another one? I said, um, what else you got? And he said, um, uh, I said, I've, I've, I've got the Discovery over there. And I looked at that and I said, oh, and I got in it and I thought well, it's nice. But I, said, I thought it was really big. It was ever so big. Right. Um, so then I saw a Range Rover and I said, oh, no, no, that, I mean, that's far too big. That's really, really big. And so I said, well, OK, well, thanks very much. You know, I, I appreciate you showing me around and, 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 and all that business. Now, you can call in in a minute if you want to. And I'll read some of your messages. I'll go on to your messages till I finish the story. OK. And uh, if you want to, you can call in and send messages and I'll read some of them out then. Um. So that was it. And I was going out the door and just outside a little bit further away was this red square thing. Now, remember, I was in a Golf, which was a bit of a boy racer's car. So we're going back here 20 years. I was 52, 52 42. I was 30, 32 at the time. Bit of a, I mean, I say boy racer, not at 32. You're a bit older to be a boy racer than aren't you? Um, but uh, I was coming out of a Golf, you know, high performance car. And I saw this, I said, what's that? He said, oh, you won't want that, mate. And I'm like, 
won't what what. And he says, um, he says that's very, very agricultural. You won't enjoy driving that. I said, oh, right. I said, what is it? He said, that's a defender. I said, it's, is it the army type thing? He said, there, that's right, yeah. He said, but you, you really do have to drive those. You don't touch the pedals. I said, come on, let's have a go. Anyway, so he opened the door and I stepped up into this thing and sat And I thought, that's the one. I love it. I loved it. I loved it. And sure enough, you know, you turn the key and you really have to. You, I don't know if they're any different now, but you really had to push the pedals down and push the gear in. None of this flicking it with your finger, dear. That's was namby pamby pansy flicking the gear in with your thumbnail or something like that. No, 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 no. You had to push this gear into position for the thing to go. And we took off for a little, um, a little, um, a little drive round. And I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I really did. And there, and, and and I bought it. I bought it. Not 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 cash. No, you know, a monthly thing. What, what the old monthly thing? And I bought it, and I was so pleased with this Land Rover. And no, it did not beat people away from lights, and it did not overtake people on motorways. But that didn't matter. You were sitting up high up. You felt quite safe. I loved it. And then from that, I had that a few years. Then I bought a blue one and then I bought a silver one. And I became aware that it was costing more and more to run this thing. And I was driving. It, it, it was one of the services. The very last service that I did cost almost a thousand pounds. That's for service, right? And I, I thought, and then I sat down and I thought, hang on a minute, how much is this costing me? So I worked out the monthly figure and the petrol. Well, I mean, you know, uh, six, how many years ago? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten years ago, I was putting in £100 a week. Ten years ago. So you can imagine what it would be like now. But with the servicing and the monthly charge, you know, the HP business and the petrol. And I sat down with a bit of, my God, this is costing me an arm and a leg. And I never used to go off. Yeah, I never used to go off the road. I never went off the road. It was just a glo- It was exactly um, the uh, what they say. It was a Chelsea tractor. I loved it. No, no, it was uh, it was the Land Rover garage that did the servicing. It was a big one. Seventy. I think it was a seventy thousand miles, and it was that that broke the straw. The st- the camel's back broke. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> And it was at that point I thought, no, this has got to go. And uh, very shortly after that, I got rid of it and I went down to a, a Toyota Igo. I mean, they couldn't be more different. A little car from a bit from that. But I, I really loved that land, those Land Rovers. I loved them. And I'd love to have another one. But I couldn't, I couldn't justify the expense of having such a wonderful machine. You know, my mate says, oh, you can afford it. That's not the point. Not the point. Not the point at all. So, so that's uh, the car I've got at the moment. Um, <laughs> Chris wants to say, what vehicle have you had the most luck with men? None of them. I, I never use vehicles to try and get men or anything like that. Honestly. What are you like? My mate does all the time. Right. Any, any questions? Um, Adam wants to know, I had a Mitzi Shogun. I, yes, I like those. Chris says, I don't like the interior of the Igo. 107. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair comment. It's quite small in there. But do you know, I I managed to get. Yes. Yes, Jay. What? What? Come on, chop, chop. What do you want to say? Come on, Jay. What? What? Why? Why? What do you mean, Chris, please? Can you say me, dear? Gay, dear? How very dare you? Me, dear? Gay, dear? How very dare you? Who's gay? I don't want any of those puffs watching this program. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, you don't. <laughs> oh, you don't like the pur joke. Mm. I, I, I don't know. I got something against French cars, really, for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we've got to say hello to Alfie, who's wishing. Uh, Alfie and his Mrs. Laura. Hello, Laura. Uh, are watching and listening to you live. So can you give us a shout out? Hello, Alfie and lovely Laura. 
Alf has done some really cool stuff, actually. He really is. Now, just to let you know, we're on YouTube. Did I tell you we're on YouTube? YouTube now? Yeah, youtube.com forward slash Chris Reardon UK. Go on there. Hit the um, live little link underneath there, and uh, that'll take you there. Good morning, Marge. Marge is with us as well, and uh, she's with us as well. You can call in if you want to. Number's on the phone back there, 0208 0208. One double four three four double seven. I'm pleased about that. I'm pleased. Uh, Skype username is all one word. United Kingdom Talk. Skype is United Kingdom Talk. All one word. Call in if you want to. Okay. Um, if I'm kind of in full flow, I won't always come to your messages. I'm trying to find a way of. I'm still trying to find a way of doing the YouTube and the Periscope shows at the same time. Uh, but that does mean you know if, if I'm kind of in a story i can't keep referring to messages because it breaks the thing and that's a trouble all right uh, i'm glad you like the jacket marge this is one i have bought before my darling uh, george indeed periscope george is now back as fruity george okay yeah where's wendy when i'm sure she was up here earlier young wendy's here somewhere are you here wendy i didn't see your name flash up or she might have gone to bed she was a bit tired earlier well, we're waiting for calls. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. <laughs> I have very good news about the quiz tonight. Very good news. Um, that's the second, or is it the third week in a row? It's the second week in a row. Um, the quiz we started, that's at the King's Head Theatre Pub, Upper Street in Islington. And... Um, uh, we started it a number of weeks ago, quite a, well, about two or three months ago now. And it was um, fairly quiet. You know, we have a couple of teams turn up and then maybe three teams and two teams and four teams. And then last week, and it, it had been going on every two weeks. Right? Now, I did say to them right at the very beginning, very difficult to get something going if you're only doing every two weeks. But fair enough, that's all they wanted to do. Um. So then last week, we suddenly got 11 teams come in. No, no, it was, it was the week before. The week before, we had 11 teams. I thought, wow, suddenly from nowhere, OK? The week after, they called me in for a meeting, a little meeting. Now, I'm not really good with meetings, OK? I can't lie to you. I often don't see the bloody point of them. Now, how many people with us tonight have been to a meeting at work and thought, what was all that about? I'm a bit like that at meetings, especially if you're kind of doing something and you're already doing it as so let's have a meeting about it. But we're doing it and the people are coming in. So it's working. Why do you want to have a meeting? What's the meeting about? Oh, we can improve it, but it's working. I'm just going to come to something else that's working in a minute that I'm a bit concerned you might trip up on. Alcoholics Anonymous meetings. That's what we want. <laughs> <laughs> Death by PowerPoint. <laughs> anyway, so we had this meeting. And uh, boss sat down and threw a few ideas uh, around, which, which was OK, you know. Um, and then I did the quiz after. And guess what? 11 teams again. And tonight, 10 teams which isn't as bad as it sounds, since we've had two weeks of 11 teams and then a week of 10 teams, but the teams were much larger. You know, it's more of a head count rather than amount of teams. And there was a lot of people in tonight. And also, people are starting now um, to... Thank you, Eloise. So people are starting now to know that it's on. And they're also starting to ring ahead first and book a table. Which is even better. So you already know you've got a certain amount of people. And so it's worked. And you see, um, I'm really pleased. Really pleased. It's yes, Rusty, word of mouth is the biggest thing. It really is. Word of mouth is the biggest thing. I've had one team there that has been there every single week. And there's a group of five of them. Uh, more middle-aged, that team. A lovely lot of people. So I'm really pleased about that. Now, that's not to say... I mean, when, you, when you've got something, right, you've got to stick at it. It's no use doing something for three weeks. Oh, it's not working. And then, and then, and then binning it. That happened at Carl Shorten. 
place I did in Kelshorn called the Pembroke Arms or something like that. He did it for three weeks and he just kept going on about money all the time. Oh, it's costing... And, and they, weren't, they weren't paying a lot of money, let me tell you that now. Not that it is about money with me. I always say that. To me, it's about doing a job and putting the smiles on the faces, giving people a night to go home and talk about. That's what it's about to me. Of course I'm not going to do it for nothing. Of course I'm not. But don't keep going, don't worrying about your bloody money all the time. Oh, but the other guy charged this. And I'm like, well, you don't think I'm, I'm getting paid what, what you're being charged? And they're like, what do you mean? Well, I've come for an agent. He takes it biz first and then he pays me. I'm not, he's not paying what you're paying him. Stupid. Stupid. Now, as luck would have it, I think really at the pen, uh, the place, in, I think, was it the Pembroke? I don't know. What, I don't, that might be the wrong name, actually, now. But anyway, um, at this particular place, I within a couple of weeks, I thought, oh, uh, don't know about this one. It didn't pick up at all. We got, I think, two teams that came every week. I think it ran for about four weeks, three or four weeks, certainly no more than that. I'm sure it was. And then he binned it. Well, that's nowhere near enough time to try and get a night going. It's ridiculous. It just doesn't work like that. You've got to keep the thing going. I would say, to see if something works, I would say four months. If you're worried about how much is this costing and all that, then don't do it. Don't do it. Just just carry on ticking over as you are, because you'll never get anywhere. Ridiculous. But the place in Islington stuck with it. They stuck through those quiet nights, and it started working now. And I always say this, it's not just me. Everything in a venue has to click together. You have to work with the bar staff and anyone else who's around. Now, this particular place, there's bar staff, there's me, and there's a guy who runs a theatre. His name's Oscar. And we all bounce off each other. Now, you see what Rust has written there. Publicans want it to work immediately. They do. Not all of them, Rusty. It's the young ones that are the problem. And when I say young, I don't mean 20s. I mean those under... under 40. Under 40, they've been to business school. And they don't seem to understand that you've got to do something. It's not like Republicans, Marge, no, darling. Oh, dear. Um, <laughs> they don't seem to understand that you've got the... <laughs> Jay's 33, well, there's no chance for you, mate. These, they, they've been to business school, I, I can only assume this, and all they can see is, how much is this costing me? They don't understand the necessity of sticking with something, sometimes for as long as a year before you see results. That happened at the cherry tree. It's very, very unfortunate at the cherry tree. Uh, we were doing a karaoke come quiz night there, and believe me, we had some quiet nights. We had some quiet nights at the cherry tree. But towards the end, it really had started working. <laughs> and, then, and then, as luck would have it, they sold the place and it finished. But they've got another place in Sydenham and we'll be going there at some point. Cherry tree in Dulwich, uh, Jay, Dulwich. That's gone now. That's, but that's been sold and gone. OK. Uh, and... That's just, but they stuck with it for a year, and that's what you've got to do. Nothing is. You're very, very lucky to have an instant success. Really lucky. You've got to keep something going and stick with it. And most of these managers, uh, not all of them, not all of them, but a lot of them under the age of forty, they just can't see it. It's got to work. Bang! Now, a lot of the problem, of course, comes from the area managers as well. You know. Oh, how long you been doing it? Three weeks. Has it made any difference in the in the take? No. Okay, cut it. It does. It takes time to build a business, and they just don't get it. Well, let me tell you now. Uh, the, that's right. They, they moan about them. Rusty says they moan about the money when it's busy, uh, but when it's busy, they keep quiet. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Accumulate to speculate. Absolutely correct. But the one in Islington, as all good places do. They have stuck with it, and it's and it started paying off. Oh, did you buy a pub in in Brighton, Adam? Did you actually make money off that, or or did it um, 
Or did it uh, lose? Oh, good. Why did you sell it then? Evening, Paul. Paul's with us as well today. Hello, Paul. Why did you sell it then if, if it was working? Or did you just get bored with it? A lot of people are, are just said to me, you know, you should run a pub. Uh, evening, Mark. A lot of people said to me, you know, you, you should try running a pub. But um, I don't think uh, I don't think I'd want to do that. You know, you're stuck in the same place all the time. I think my customer service would be really good. I, I do, you know, when people come in, oh, good evening, sir. All right. Um, bars, I, I talk, even, when I'm doing the quiz, even, I didn't know you had a boyfriend, Adam. <laughs> Made off with the safe. <laughs> is that why you had to let the pub go in Brighton because he made off with a safe how awful what sort of people are you hanging around with dear awful £15,000 or is that £1,500 because that's not a lot is it £15,000 ok yes as I say the place in Islington stuck with it and, and now it's working so cool, cool for them and very cool for me because I've got a lovely job now on Wednesday that I really enjoy. And I walk around with a microphone and everyone joins in. It's great. So come along there. King's Head Theatre Bar on uh, every Wednesday night from 8.30 now. And we'll do the quiz down there. Now, uh, what was I saying about sticking? Anyone want to ask anything? Anyone want to call in? I'll wait. 30 seconds for a phone call in case, and then we'll carry on again. Uh, 020-8144-3477. Traffic tonight was fine. Monday, I work at City of Quebec in Marble Arch. Um, how many hours do I work? Okay. Um, do you want me to include the travel in that or not? I don't know, quite a lot, really. It depends what you mean by work. I mean, everything I do is kind of similar, isn't it? Tuesday Tuesday is karaoke in Camden, yes. That's at the Golden Lion on Tuesday, yeah. Yeah. So. Um, okay, 0208... One double four three four double seven O two O eight one double four three four double seven or Skype in on United Kingdom Talk. United Kingdom Talk. Biggest mistake I've made this week. Parking is very good on a Tuesday. Park right outside the pub. No problem at all if you want to come down there. Where are you again, Jay? Are you in Essex somewhere? Preparing for the quizzes work it. Well, I've already got next week's quiz here. Want a quick flash? Do you want a quick flash? Strood and Kent. Oh. So I don't know how long it would take you to get to Camden. That's a short one. That's only 9 to 12, that one. One minute. Look here. Look. Next week's quiz is here. It's already, already done. Oh, I'm very prepared. When it comes to work... Um, yeah, you come down, mate. Come down. When it comes to work, I'm, I'm actually quite well prepared for work. It's, it's home things. I don't think... <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what I'm not good at. Preparing to go away. Travelling. Hate it. Absolutely hate it. Travelling. In fact, uh, my mate, he's just come back from Nice and he's um, on again. Uh, he's gone to Turkey this time. And he's, he's arrived there now and he came round here this morning, you know, just to have a quick look and, and bought me a present, which is a cat. Uh, it's actually downstairs at the moment. Shall I bring it up a little bit later for you? OK, but he's bought me a cat. Well, I'll bring it up. I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you maybe sometime tomorrow, like a China cat, which where he, which he bought in France. For me. Anyway, Kate bought it around this morning and he, he sat there. And he said, look, Chris, I don't want to go. He said, I've just about had enough of sitting down in airports. He got two delays, apparently going out there and coming back again. And this is the thing with travelling. It's just a bloody nightmare. If you're not waiting in an airport, you're stuck on the motorway somewhere. It's, I hate it. I hate it. I'm quite happy. You know, I come in here, I close my front door, uh, go to the country, I just go out in my garden. That's it. You know, no problem at all. Don't keep needing to go in a car or on a plane somewhere. I made the decision late last year that I, after Israel, which I loved, loved it very much, um, I, I decided, right, I'm not going anywhere this year. Not going to go anywhere. And I'm quite happy not going anywhere. Really am. What about you? That you've been stuck in an airport somewhere? Or in a queue? Calais! Oh, my God, Calais! What the hell's going on in Calais? 
Adam says, Chris, what you got you into DJ and talk show? Oh. <sighs> um, DJing. Okay. What got me into DJing was I was at my sister's engagement party and there was a mobile disco set up on a stage this is in Roehampton a place called Bessborough Hall and then we had this little rope light and there we was playing records and I thought wow I want to do that so I did I started buying bits and pieces I think I started I had two do you remember those record players? If you're older, you'll know this. You used to be able to buy record players. They were just a box with a handle, and you would open the box, and inside the box would be a record player and a speaker at the front. Yeah? Everyone remember those? And you'd have an auto-changer there. Um, and I actually... The, the first gig I did was at a place called the Highwayman Pub. Some of them were called Dan Sets. Yes, that's that's absolutely correct, Dino. I didn't even know you were there. Hello, Dino. Um, but there were there were other makes. I think I had two completely different makes. One which was Mum's and one which was mine, which I bought from a jumble sale. You were always able to pick up these Dan Set type record players from jumble sales. Anyway, I had two separate ones, completely separate ones, and a suitcase of records. <laughs> so true his master's voice there's another one and a suitcase full of LPs and things like that and I went to a pub called The High Woman uh, which was in Roehampton and I set up my two record players and just played records That's, that was the first gig I ever did I got £10 I think they were 45s and 33s that I played out, Marge. Uh, I didn't play 78s out. So we're very heavy, very heavy. So that was that was the first one. And over time, there, there were two set. There was no microphone. Two separate record players. Okay, in boxes. Okay. Over time, I started saving up money, and I I <laughs> I, I built this um. I, <laughs> Now, let me think first. What did I do first? Oh, right. I, so eventually I bought two turntables, the same make. Uh, uh, I think they were, they weren't Pioneer Technics. They were Citronics. So they were quite light. And a little mixer in the, bo in the middle. And a couple of speakers. And an amplifier. And I started, and, and a microphone, and I started doing parties. And I actually remember the first thing I ever picked up a microphone was at a friend's, could have been an engagement party or a birthday party, I'm not sure which. It was in Putney in southwest London, and it was above a pub, and I'd gone in there, sat, and I made these lights. I made lights, I made square boxes. OK, out of wood and a piece of plastic in the front. And I put in there four electrical bulb holders. One, two, three, four. OK, and I had. Th I think I had three of them. Th I had either three or four of them. And I had a one was blue, one was green, one was yellow, one was red. Yeah, there were four of them. Definitely four. And I collect, connected these to this little gadget thing that I had, and it would flash the lights. So that they were my lights sitting at the front there. My stuff was behind, and I picked up the mic. And the first thing I ever said was, "Good evening, everyone. I uh, I do take requests every night. I can't believe that someone over there has asked has asked for the Nolans, as if I would carry something like that." And then bang, on came. I'm in the mood for dancing. And that is the first thing. I'm sure it's the first thing I ever said on a microphone. I and I haven't been able to shut up since. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yes, that was a long time ago. And that's how I got into DJing. And gradually, um, it carried on. The most requested karaoke song I have, uh, My Way, Frank Sinatra. And I hate it. 
I hate it. And people think it's a great song to finish with. My way, thanks. I mean, can you think of anything more depressing? Yes, I can. Hero, Mariah Carey. I will always love you. Whitney Houston, please don't sing them at my karaoke's. Oh, you are full ready. All right, Jay, you're at work tomorrow. Good night, Jay. Thanks, Jay. Catch the rest of this on replay later. Okay? <laughs> yeah, come down Tuesday. Let me know. Let me know. Um, uh, yeah, I haven't been able to shut up since, unfortunately. The talk shows. Right, okay, the talk shows. So I was doing a little internet radio show on... Uh, live three, I think it was live 365 at the time. And along came one of the first internet radio stations ever called CMP Radio. They'd heard my show and asked me to do a little show on it. It was a music and chat show I was doing on there. So I said, yeah, OK. So I started doing it on there. And I'd been listening to a lot of talk radio. Um, in particular, Mike Dickin, who, who's dead now. He's, he was on Talk Sport. Very, very entertaining chap. And I noticed with my music and chat show, I was talking more and more and playing less and less music. And I thought, I thought to myself, why don't you just try one talk show? I didn't listen to LBC much at the time at all, Dino, no. And so one day um, I did my usual music and chat show and I booked another hour afterwards. I thought... I'm going to try a chat show. And, and I just did it. I turned all the music off, put the music on a foot. Right, I don't, I don't want any music to, to fall back on. So I took my CDs out and put them in another room before I started. And then the news came on on this station. And, I, and the news comes out three minutes past. Play a jingle, open the mic. And I had some newspapers in front of me. And I just talked. And there was, there was some, some awful thing that was happening and children were dying and that sort of thing. They were being attacked or something. I think it was a war and I was going on about, you know, what, why is it that they attack the children? They're nothing to do with the war. Leave the children alone. And some, something like that it was. And, and I did it. I, uh, for an hour, I just talked. There was no phone in. You couldn't have, there was no one to phone in or anything like that. Um, there was, we used MSN Messenger at the time. And I think a few messages and emails come through like that, but nothing like an interaction like this thing is now. And that was my first talk show, really. And CMP Radio actually closed. <laughs> nothing to do with me too in the talk show. <laughs> that actually closed shortly after... Um, a couple of weeks after I did the talk show, right? I know, Rusty. I've always been a chatterbox. Um, which left me, well, I quite like doing that talk show. So I then started... Um, record. Was I doing podcasts then? Um, I can't remember now. But I, I, I do remember, yeah... Yes, yeah, podcasts had started, hadn't they? Yeah, I, I started recording an hour podcast each day. In fact, um, c come October, I'll be celebrating my 10 years anniversary of chatting rubbish here on the internet. <laughs> How mad is that? 10 years I've been sitting here talking. <laughs> You put all those together, Eloise. One at a time, you go mad. That, that's what's, actually, that is what's happening now, Eloise. Uh, when, they, when they have the Islamic extremist organised, what are they called? I, I saw. Why have they all got so many different names? I saw, ISIS, all that business. There's so many different names. ISIS, I saw, ISIS, that's it, ISIS. Um, you know, when, when they catch the ISIS people, what they're doing now is actually locking them in a room and playing my shows on a loop, end to end, non-stop. They all talk in the end after they've heard a few of those. I'm telling you, some of them fall asleep. <laughs> Do you know, I've actually had messages like that before. We want to say thank you to her. We couldn't sleep last night, so we put one of your shows on. <laughs> Ah, oh, no, the first one isn't on YouTube. The first, they, that was audio only, Adam. Um, if you have a look on my website, 
uh, unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Right? If you go on there, you'll see a section that's... Oh, I'd have to bring it up. Hang on a minute. I can't remember now. Here we go. Okay, if you go to unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk, um, there's the union flag at the top there, and it says something about the video shows. Then it says, click here to go to the audio-only versions of my talk show. That's about halfway down the page. If you click on that, that will bring you the, the archive of all the old talk shows, not Periscope, because that's a separate thing altogether. Although some of them, like today's show, is on Periscope and YouTube. So today, when you see... It won't go up immediately, right? But when you see the uh, YouTube show go up on Facebook, probably tomorrow morning it'll be now, then that will be quite, it will be much better quality than the Periscope ones because you've got the widescreen and the sound's all done properly and all that. With Periscope, it's very different. But I would like to do some of them dual like I'm doing now, okay? But that means I won't always spot the comments as they're coming up because I'm talking. And sometimes, you know, you're talking in a flow and you want to break that flow, OK? It doesn't matter too much about the time today because I'm recording on a different camera for YouTube, all right? So, uh, as I say, if you go to unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk, halfway down the page, click here to the audio versions of my show, right? And then that will open it into all the audio versions going back to... October 2005 and the first one I've got on there it, it isn't actually the first one I was doing it a little bit before this but that, that'll have to do uh, there we are 1st of October 2005 and I took do you want to have a little listen I wonder if I can listen to that can I listen Chris Redden have a little from the Mirrorball Studio in same old jingle have it let's see what I said is Chris Redden We've got the whole theme here because of music. Yeah, it's Chris Reardon in the Mirable Studios here in Royal Berkshire, welcoming you to another United Kingdom talk, an hour of a uh, chat for myself, uh, Chris Reardon. If you'd like a... Uh, uh, to well, so, so obviously that wasn't the first one, but it, it is the first one that I've got on the system. And I'm just wondering what I was talking about then. It, does my voice sound the same? I had enough finding the money to pay myself. I mean, it's, it's years, it's years since I had a proper meal, so all all money is gratefully received, all right, if you want to say... It sounds like I'm begging for money on that. It's, this is the first I've heard of this since I did it, honestly, I've never played this before. Talk.co.uk. Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. I shall uh, give that out throughout the show, OK? As you can hear, uh, a minor little uh, voice problem, which has been going on all week. Anyway, that's that's enough of that old rubbish, right? OK, so you know where to find that now. And you, you just click on it and it plays. That That's the very first one. <laughs> do I not, do I sound the same? Is my voice deeper now or was it then? Oh, that's an, uh, that's an age thing. You may notice Barry Manilow fans all over the world will notice that um, if you listen to Barry singing many years ago, he he's he's he sings slightly higher than he does now because naturally the voice gets deeper. I mean, it's practically on the floor mine now, to be honest. But Barry sounds better now than he ever did, I think, in in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. So there we are. Um, Windows Ten. Now this is uh, in quite a few of the papers this morning. Windows 10 is here. Microsoft finally launches its last version. Um, experts are giving it a lukewarm reception. Oh, well, they always do, don't they? These so-called so experts. Oh, have you got it, Dino? Ah, well, you're the man to ask. Now, first, before you... Do, before, do, um, do you want to talk us through that or not? Oh, you haven't you haven't put it in yet, No. You haven't put it in. Now, I would say to you, if you've got a system on your computer and it's working, I, I, to be honest, I'd leave it alone. Oh, you haven't done it yet. OK, Dino. OK. Um, I've, you know, I've upgraded or up, up 
something, whatever. I've upgraded stuff before only to have it no longer work. And it's been a, a real nightmare to get it going again. Has that, has that happened to anyone else at all? Oh, the worst incident was about two years ago when um, our Windows is going to move to a monthly serve. What, they, you're not actually going to pay them every month, are you, Chris? Christ, if you, do they want money? every? Because they did try. If you remember, some of these software, Microsoft, uh, they tried to get everyone to rent their software, didn't they? Instead of buying it. Because they want the old money every month, mate. Yes. Adobe do it quite a lot. They've got some online services, video services and things like that. You pay a, thump, a monthly fee. Well, I don't want to pay a monthly. I just want to buy it and that's it. All this renting software business. I don't think so. Not for me. There you go. Chris is telling us never upgrade at first. Wait until one or two patches have come out. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. But I the worst uh, the worst thing that happened to me was I was at just starting a karaoke night. Now, on this particular night, this was when I was working at Belushi's and it's a couple of years ago. On this particular night, they were showing football on the on the screens. And the football was due to finish at, I don't know, 10.30. I was due to start at 10, but I couldn't because the football was still on. And let me tell you, boys and girls, you don't start a night when everyone's sitting there watching the football. Oh, my God, you would be murdered. You would be beheaded in public. And you're not even in Syria, dear, or on one of those awful places on holiday. You would be beheaded. So, my computer says, um, upgrade available. And it was about, I'd set up, I usually, you know, for 10 o'clock, I was ready by 9.15. I always was at that place for some reason. So, 9.15, I thought, well, I'm not going to start till 10.30. I'll do the update now. Won't take that long. So, I started this update off. Little did I know it was a service pack update. I didn't see that bit. Oh. <laughs> I think it was two. It was Surface Pack 2 on Windows 7, maybe? Something like that. And, and this thing had started running. Well, you know, and I came back and it, like, said 10%. And I'd, I'd left 20 minutes. I thought, oh, that was a bit slow. But sometimes it can do that, can't it? You know where it takes ages to get to 10% and suddenly it's 15, 20, 25, 30, and then it's done. And I thought, oh, that's probably what's going to happen then. And it's not a scary campfire story. Cubs, do your best. So I went away again and I'm looking at it. I come back again and it was still 10% and it's 10 o'clock now. So I'm starting to panic a bit now. At 10.30, it still hadn't moved much. And I thought, oh, my God, no, you must be joking. I'm looking at the clock. It's 10.30 now. But the football hasn't finished. Football hasn't finished. And it went into extra time. So I'm like, how long is the extra time, lads? The boys said, oh, it'd be another half hour, 15 minutes each. So I thought, oh, thank God for that. Well, it'll be done by then, absolutely. 11 o'clock came. Still not done. I thought, oh, no. What am I going to do? But you don't tell anyone. You mustn't look like you're panicked. You've got to go around as if nothing's wrong. I said, is that, why comes that football's not finished? Oh, it's still a draw. They're going to go into penalties now. I said, all right, how long does that take then? Don't know, as long as it takes. OK, boys. And at that point, I think it got to 100%. I thought, oh, yes. Lovely. And, of course, it wants to restart, which is fair enough. So I then restarted the, I think it restarted on its own. I can't remember now. No, it gives you the option to restart. Oh, you have to restart it. I think I had to restart it after this thing. So this thing went through the motions. I'm starting to restart. It, it's taken time, but I'm okay for the moment. We're on penalties now. And all it needed was someone to win. And I would have been ruined. Ruined, dear, ruined. And the uh, the thing eventually restarted and up came the desktop the thing is it wasn't my desktop where were all my icons where was all my music gone 
Where were the programs I use to work the karaoke? It had all gone. It looked like a new computer. And then I looked on the C drive, what I thought I was looking at the C drive. No music. I thought, don't tell me this thing has wiped the computer completely clean. I've got a new computer in front of me. Everything's gone. I'm panicking now. I'm panicking now. And the football had finished. At which point I had to shout across to the manager. I said to him, I've got a bit of a problem here, mate. I've just done an update and I can't find anything. And of course, then all the experts start coming over, don't they? Oh, God. Yeah. And they just, they just make it even worse. Really, because you're trying to do one thing and helpful as people may seem, you know, one shout in this, one shout in that. You're trying to do that. Oh, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. <sighs> what did I do after that? I, I, I kept trying different things. I thought, well, I thought like, this has done me in. Now, I carry a spare computer. I carry a spare computer. So I said to her, I said, look, I'll just, I'll, what I'll do is that there's nothing else. I don't know what else I can do other than restart it again and see what happens. I'll go and get the, the spare one out. So I got the, the other one. And that, that's sitting next to me now. And I'm restarting the, the, uh, the, new, the, the newly updated machine. And bang, on it all came. There was the music, there was the... So I don't know how it didn't see these things when it restarted the first time. It really didn't make any sense to me, and I never got to the bottom of that. Never happened again. So on came the music, and I think I started about... That cost me about 15 minutes of time, that's all. But, well, you know, it was... Well, and once you get going, that's it. Because it was packed. It was packed in there. Packed. Not a quiet night, you know. Two or three people. I'm sorry. Ever so sorry. Uh, um, but uh, it's not working. Oh, no, it was packed. And I learned that lesson. Never, ever do an update at work just before you start. Never, ever did an update again. And I really am of the opinion, uh, because I've got two uh, machines running Windows 8. Uh, one machine in here in the studio here. Um, and that sends out the audio and video direct to YouTube. And my laptop that I take around to do karaoke nights and all that, that's running Windows 8. Dot, is it 8.2? 8.2. And that does the karaoke and I DJ on that. Now, both of these machines are working. There is no problem. And therefore, I don't think I'm going to upgrade to, to Windows 10, whether it's free or not. I, I just don't see the point in the possibility of having a lot of hassle. Now, Dino, Dino's done it. And he says, everything's still on there. So that's cool. Good. You know, well done, Dino. Um, but there's always the chance. And we've heard these horror stories from people where you lose everything. Yes, of course, you can back it all up to a hard drive first and all that business. But there's a lot of mucking about in it. It really is a lot of mucking about to do all that. And I, I, I'm of the opinion, if it's, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So I'm going to stay on Windows 8 and be done with it. Hello, Wendy. Have you just joined us, darling? I thought you was away. I'm of the opinion that um, that you should leave things alone if they're if they're functioning OK. So that, so I'm going to do that. I'll just leave it as it is. It's just madness to, to, to take that risk of everything going wrong. And sometimes some of the drivers don't work with stuff. And you have to bear in mind when I'm DJ and I've got... Um, uh, sound and audio drivers and video drivers in there that all work and sometimes you need a new operating system or you need new drivers for that and you've got to go for all that old rubbish you know i tell you what i would i, I have considered doing now the, the main my main computer in here is quite a few years old and i was considering um buying one of those new flash drives instead of a in the moving hard drive have i updated my periscope yes yes i have I've updated the Periscope, not found anything different on it, to be honest. Not looked for anything different either. I, what I want on Periscope is for them to do the landscape. I want landscape. 
They still haven't done that. There's two things I wanted them to do. Landscape and, you know, the location. Right, if they could make it not so precise. So it could possibly tell you what town you're in, but, but no further than that. I'd, I'd like them to do that. Whether or not they do that, I don't know, really. Yeah, not quite sure whether or not they do that. Um, so I, I, I'm not going to update to Windows 10 on, on, on any of my sh machines, really. The other thing is... Uh, uh, yeah, so I was going to update my moving, what do you call it, my moving hard drive, you know, basic hard drive. Oh, let, let's have a word with Dino. Good morning, good morning Dino. Good morning. A very good morning to you, all right? I thought I'd be the Virgin caller. I think you're going to be the only one tonight. It doesn't matter, you know, I can talk without people. Okay, talking. now, you can help me. Yeah. My periscope. Yeah. I decided, what happened was, um, my name on my thing is D8 Finder. Yeah. And basically what happened was, I was playing around and adding the bits and pieces and blah, 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 blah. And basically, I put in uh, one of the things that I was using before. It basically picked up something that I was using before. A long story short, what I wanted to do was I wanted to get rid of Periscope and download it again. Now, of course, we had this conversation before. Yeah. That once you get rid of Periscope, it's very difficult to get it back Is on it? any of your eye products once you lose it. Oh. So, how, so how I've actually been getting it back is I've been going into Facebook, going to your profile, and about three weeks ago, you put in a link to Periscope. Now, if oh. I click on your link on Periscope, it instantly brings up uh, Periscope in the App Store. But if I go to the App Store and do it myself, because I've previously deleted Periscope, it won't let me do it. So every time I want to reload Periscope, I have to actually touch on an icon which is existingly somewhere on the internet, which is your profile. So I scroll down it, and it's about, I don't know, it's about 9th or 10th of June, or July rather. Right. I touch that, and then it brings up Periscope. Long story short, again, is it says... <coughs> Uh, you wish you've, deleted, you've now deleted your old account, and to create a new account, put in your mobile phone number. So I put in the mobile phone number, and all it does is reactivates the old account, even though you've deleted it. So I thought, well, I don't want that, so I'll use my <clears throat> I'll use my email address. So I used the email address, and for some odd reason, it's brought up again the same account. So I've deleted it three times, and it's brought up the same account. So I have no idea. Now I've used the email address, and now I've used the phone number, which is linked to it's linked my account to the same those two to the same um, account that I've got on here now. I can't get rid of the Periscope account. I can't set up a new one. Does that all make sense? Yeah. Um. It doesn't Periscope at work on Twitter? Oh, Wendy's just sent a message. She says you've got to sign out of Twitter on your iPad or iPhone. I have. You've done that already? Yeah, it says sign out. And have you got an iPhone? Is it an iPhone? I've got an iPhone and an iPad. Okay, so he's got an iPhone and an iPad. So you've signed out of Twitter and yet you... I don't, I don't know, my friend. I don't. You see, the problem is... I, 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 when, Wendy, is it, Wendy, have you, got, have you had two accounts? I, I, I seem to remember I had two, two, when, two Wendy, Wendy's... Ah, right, OK. So can, can you tell us how you did that, Wendy? And maybe that'll help him. So you want another account. Is that because of your username or something? Yeah, I want to go to my... my I just want to put in Dino. I see, mean, see, as you mine, know, if you, if, you, changed, if, you, didn't it? If, if you if you click on my D8 finder, and then my name on there, of course, is Dino London, but yeah. it's not what's comes up on the screen. No, it's like you with um, with your name. You've got what? What have you got on yours? Uh, you've got United Kingdom Talk, but it's on the screen. If you was to type a message, it would say Chris Reardon, UK. Right. It, it wouldn't come up United Kingdom Talk, right, would it? Right. 
So I, I'm wondering if anyone can help me as to well, how I do well, it. Sign out of Twitter on my iPad. When, Wendy sign. says she signed out of Twitter on her iPad. She's got a mini iPad yeah. and then created a new uh, Twitter. I, uh, sorry, I think that's what... Wendy, the trouble is the bloody message don't stay up there long. Um, the can problem, you, can you send me that mystery. information on a, on a, on a YouTube, uh, on, a, on a Facebook or email message and I can read it to him? The, the, I tell you the problem is, is that when it says sign in yeah. with, sign in with a Twitter account, once you actually touch... The, the Twitter button, it signs you straight in with your old email address. It, it doesn't give you an option to type in your email address. It just says sign in with Twitter. So you touch Twitter, mm. the, the button that says Twitter, and it just signs you back in. Well, you I can't, I can't see how you delete the account. How annoying is that? You can't God. delete the account. You well, can't delete the account. I, I, wonder, on, um, I wonder if you deleted it, right, and then waited a while maybe a, a week or so, and see what, what would happen then. Well, here's, here's the same thing. Well, I was speaking to um, Fruity George, who you know is back now. Oh, yes. Um, Blocker George. Oh, just a minute. Someone's just put something racist on there. I can't be having any of that. Just a second. Let's get rid of that. Right, let's... Well, should we report that one? What an awful thing. Hate speech. Go to go. Twitter settings and delete account. Comment removed. There we go. I can't I can't be doing with racism on there at all, ever. I didn't see it. Please, no. don't put... If you don't like what you see, then... Uh, no, it wasn't you. I, I don't recognise that. No, do I recognise that person? I don't think I do, actually. No. So, Wendy's saying, go to your Twitter account. Is that within... Is that within Periscope, Wendy? Oh, uh, here we are. Right, Wendy's just sent this in for you. Go on. You have to go into... You have to go to Twitter in settings and delete account. In the settings? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, is that... Your, is, she, is she saying you have to delete your Twitter account? In the settings in Periscope. That's what I'm trying to work out. Yeah. It's not... They don't make it easy. No, I don't think that... I, I've okay, she's saying yes, tried. there is I, I yes. set up... Okay. On, on my YouTube thing, right, I mm. set up once um, United Kingdom Talk Children, right? Because I was going to start reading little stories out, basically, to my niece, nieces and uh, nephews, children. I, was, I, I quite like the idea of doing that. But I decided not to do it in the end. And um, so I thought, well, I'll, I'll delete that. And I just couldn't find out how to do it. I, th I think it's still on there now, to be honest. I think you just missed what Wendy was saying. Wendy, are you saying delete the Twitter on your phone and not Periscope? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I'll read this out now. She says, you have to go to settings on your iPhone and delete the account. Then sign into Twitter with a new account. Then reinstall Periscope. Wow. OK. Oh, dear me. OK. So basically, you've got to go on your iPhone, delete your Twitter, yeah. go into Periscope. Oh, sorry. Create a new Twitter account, then go into per Periscope and create the new <laughs> Periscope account. That's a got lot it. to do, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, 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 I mean, don't get me wrong, just like everybody else that's, that's sitting here tonight, we are all addicted to Periscope. I mean, I totally am. Mm. I mean, today, today I've been, I've been to Portugal, I've been to Australia, mm. I was in Las Vegas, um, and I was also in Hollywood, at all the stars on the ground, looking at all of the different things. Yeah. Um, I was in Scotland, I've been in Ireland. Uh, I've been around Dubai. I mean, I, it's, it's amazing. I mean, once it takes off this thing, once they start actually seriously advertising it, it's going to overtake and surpass, I think, everything else that well, I th there, I there is. I think you're right. Everything. I, I must say, when, when it first came along, and I, I kind of took to it straight away, really, mm. I did. But then I thought, you know, I, 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 I should keep my YouTube shows going as they are. And I discussed this with actually Wendy a, a few times as well, and, and a couple of other people as well. And um, I, I, I tried to join the two up. At first, it didn't work. 
Mm. I actually think tonight that's worked, right? And I'll tell you why. Because if I'm kind of on a roll, I'll, I'll finish off what I'm saying and then go to the messages. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Now, if you keep reading those messages when you're halfway through some sort of story, experience or mm. something, that's when it all goes wrong. It all goes to pot. So you've got to not take too much notice of the messages when you're when you're on a roll like that. I, now, I, 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 with the on. YouTube, I decided to keep the YouTube because I thought, you know, that that's how it was. But it's got to be said, it's got to be said, that there's a lot more people watch. The, 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 the YouTube viewers have dropped right off, right off the scale. There's, there's one person watching right now on YouTube, one. And there's 12 on Periscope. Mm. Not that we're led by numbers, but when there's that difference, you've got to take notice of it. Do you see what I mean? Of course. Um, and I was thinking about this the other day while I was swimming. I do a lot of thinking in the swimming pool, Dino, for okay. some reason. And I thought maybe the, the very fact that the YouTube is, is more, is closer to like a television programme, isn't it? Mm. It's quite close to a television programme. And I wonder if... If that is like the old-fashioned way of doing it, and we are now moving forward into something else, you see what I mean? I, 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 there's no doubt in my mind because to have this on the go while you're walking along, and it and it whistle while you're walking along, mm. and the the buzz of seeing something the other side of the world or something live that's yeah. going on right yeah, now. Yeah. I think to a lot of people, it grabs them by the by the coolies. Mm. It does me. Um, I mean, I just think it's I, I think it's the best thing since sliced bread. Yeah, Canada's just joined us, incidentally. Hello, Matt. Cold, mm. uh, a bit late. <laughs> it is. It, it, it's it's the best thing since sliced bread. I mean, Ad, I, Ad, I, Adam finds that um, uh, sometimes messages can be off put in. Well, Adam, if if that's the case, you've just got to switch off for a moment. Do what you've got to do, and then come back to them. I, I, Mark, I think, yeah, Mark says scope is getting a bit overrated. I don't agree with that at all. No, I, I don't. I don't, I don't think it's getting overrated. Mm. I think it's. Um, I think the problem that you have is that when you are adding too many people channels that you like, it starts whistling continually, yeah. twenty four hours a day. I think what you need to do is you need to control the amount yeah. of people that you add and the channels that you go to mm. otherwise you're going to go oh what well, again and that's when it's yeah. going to get to you that's I, when it will override you i thought there would be a lot more broadcasters than there are but when you for example some um, you know i have a little look down my followers and i thought oh i wonder if he does a show and 99 percent of the people that are on here are quite uh, don't do shows i, I, yeah, I no, just... most of them are just watchers there's mm. only you know, there are a lot of broadcasters, but there's far, far more uh, viewers than there are broadcasters. You look down my list, right? Just click on each one and mm. you'll see no broadcasts, <clears throat> no broadcasts, no broadcasts. You know, that, 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 but that, that's OK. That, that's the same as, as television, really, isn't it? You yeah. know, you've got people that I, watch and I, people that do it. I think one of the tricks that Periscope possibly are, 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 are missing for me is if you as a broadcaster could pause the messages yes and scroll through scroll through them as and when a little bit later on yes yes um like if you were walking along and you were showing people mm. something blah 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 and then you decided to move it on yeah. as you wanted to yeah. then i think it would work a lot mm. lot better mm. Um, if you could pause the text, yeah. I think that would open up a lot more avenues for a lot of, for a lot, a lot of people doing a yes. lot of things. So I know you can turn them on and off, but I'm, yes, talking, about, can, yes. I'm talking about pausing them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think by, by pausing text would help. Uh, yeah, I got you um, PM planks, Wendy. Um, if you could pause them, I think it would do a lot yeah, of people a lot yeah. of favours, broadcasters, because um, I noticed that Periscope... Um, I don't know how often you tune in, but in the mornings and late late of the night time, they got people from Periscope showing people how to use Periscope, uh, how to utilise it. And yes. Have you seen all of those? I have, and I've watched a few of them. It's caused me to tears. 
it bores me to tears. There are some people on here giving tips and things. And yeah. oh my God, oh, they're so important. They're so, so very important. You understand what I mean? But have you seen the amount of viewers they get? Oh I my know, God. hundreds, hundreds, dear. And I but, think, what? Know, it's not for me, is it? No, it, it it really isn't. I mean, there's only there's only a certain amount of things you can do with yeah. Periscope, mm. right? It's it's geared one way, it's geared one way for you to entertain us, so to speak. It's not the other way around. Yeah, it's it yeah. it it it's one way virtual reality, um, instant buzz. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. And I'm not slating it. I think it's brilliant. I've got no complaints about it at all. I love it. I think, like the, I said, the, the, if, the, if you think about MySpace, after MySpace, what happened when mm. Facebook and some of the other bits came along? Yeah, what happened yeah. to MySpace? Well, Does anyone gone, ever use it's MySpace? It's gone, isn't it? And they, they had a few. T- they had a few tries at reinventing themselves. They did. Adam. Adam was just telling us you can actually apparently now choose. Um, who you get the notifications for. So you could be signed up to me, but not get the notification. Oh, um, she hasn't got that I, up I, I don't... Uh, maybe you can turn off the whistle. Say you were signed up perhaps to me and Mark and... Uh, who else does them? And um, little Kevin. But say you, you, you might want to hear... You might want to know when little Kevin's straight on, so you leave that one on. You might want to know when Mark's on, so you leave that one on. But although you're is that my in the friend, settings, is it? Eh? Oh, it's in the new update. Oh, I haven't got an update Apparently in the new update, yes. Yeah, I've got it. Update, oh, okay, yeah. that's probably yeah. why. So that oh, works that's quite better. Well. The thing is, I mean, but I like the call-in thing. Now, I can sit here sometimes and do a show and get four calls, one after the other. And sometimes you sit here and do none. But that doesn't matter. I quite like the way the call-in thing works, works with this as well, although it requires a little bit more equipment than most people have got. I, I think that works really well. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it all works well, but um, it's, it's with the Periscope, I think, there's, I think there's some silly things that they, they could have ironed out before, before they kicked it off, that's all. Yeah. yeah. Um, because I, a, I just, I just think there's, there's a few bits, like I say, that, that are behind. Now, to have it... I don't oh. think if you had it two way where you could see the people, I don't think that no. would work. Because no, that's I don't think that would guy. work either. And I'm so disappointed. My lovely pen, my favourite pen, has just run out of ink. Oh, I'm so disappointed. And it, and it was lovely to hold. It's got a bit of rubber on it and all. Really comfortable to hold. What sort of pens do you use? You don't, do you use big pens or, or do you use... Uh... I, I, well, I think that one had the liquid ink in it. That's quite nice. It, no, it's quite nice. Um... Adam's saying so he, he's noticed now that people are setting up new Periscope accounts to send like abuse, and that happens quite. Is that to you? Does that happen to you? Ad? I, I, to be honest, it hasn't happened to me for ages now. Yeah, Adam, but you know the, the, the thing is, uh, is it worth doing that because you just block them? I mean, is it is it worth? Is well, I don't it worth think it is. You know, I, all I, their time to do it. That you know, you know how quick I am at blocking someone. Yeah, I mean, yeah, is, it, is, old, it, is, um, it, is it worth the time? When Ash, I went on to someone's someone's last night, yeah. it was broadcasting in Vegas, and oh my God, I've never heard such a stream of obscenities in all yeah, my life. Uh, but this boy had an answer to all of them, and I just thought, ah! Oh. Mm. Because, you know, like, for instance, um, with um, George. Yes. You know they've reacted his old his other account. Uh, yes, I heard that today, yes. Yeah, and um, so I thought, well... If they uh, they must be monitoring everybody's broadcast. Oh, I'm sure they are. I'm sure. I'm um, sure they dip in and out. Uh, although the more people that do it, it would be harder. But it's very easy because you just report a broadcast. I mean, I, I doubt very much. Can you that report they... a broadcast? Oh yes, yes. How? Um, right. Oh, sw- I, I can't see how you report. I'm sure broadcast. you get right swipe. Where the oh, messages yeah, are. Broadcast. There, there you go. Down the bottom. Right. Yeah. I very much doubt that they get they receive a report broadcast message and immediately cancel the account. What they yeah. will do is oh with and then they will look at your because I'm sure they've got all the old broadcasts there. They will then look at your old broadcast. Oh no, hang on a minute. No, that's a bit much. And then you get switched off, mm. sort of thing. But I, I just thought I it was funny they how it. they've reacted, how they reactivated George's. Um... Uh, maybe he said sorry and I won't do it again. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad because, you see, that type of broadcaster, you see, you've got various types of broadcasters. You've got broadcasters like yourself, 
which constantly change the subject and entertain people. Yeah. Well, I say that loosely. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Bastard. Oh, no, sorry, but, did I really say that word? <laughs> no, but you do. I mean, it's that form of entertainment. And you've got George's Entertainment, for instance, which is very... Um, Close to well, the knuckle. <laughs> there you go. Um, so there's, there's something for absolutely everybody on yeah. there. Yeah, there is. And, and that's, why I, 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 it, that's why it's going yeah. to work. And that's why I say, you know, once this thing does evolve, and I do believe it will evolve, I, I don't know how, but I, I believe it will. Yeah. I think it will eventually take a lot of things off of you know, you know what? I, you know what I saw the other day? Um, someone was coming from one of the... Oh, no, how can I explain this? No, I'll just say it out. Is, uh, someone was doing a broadcast from one of those black churches with the tambourines and all that. What are oh, they yeah. called? What are they called? Or evangelist churches. Evangelist, thank you very yeah. much. Uh, one of those. Uh, well, it's great. Oh, and this yeah. woman was singing on the stage and everyone was dancing around and with tambour. This was from London. From London. Actually, I saw one. There was there was two black women and a, and a, and a black man. Is it one, one if it's the same one? It could have been. I think it was on. I think it was on Sunday night. Actually, I think. I think so. Sunday night. Mark says we're going to get a big update from Periscope soon. What's that going to be, Mark? Rusty reckons. What did Periscope get out of this? Gospel. Thank you, Wendy. Gospel. Yeah, gospel as well. Yeah, I've seen some. I mean, I, mean, I, just, no I, just, hired, I, no. I just think it's phenomenal. I mean, it's it's amazing going all around the world and seeing how different how different communities, different yeah, people, yeah. you know, pe people live. And but what what are Periscope getting out of this? How are they making money? Well, eventually you'll get adverts. You've got to. Right. I mean, how else will it work? Yeah, it's I don't, got to yeah. be ad along the bottom of the screen. It's a bit like on on some chat systems uh, on your mobile phone. Along the very very bottom, you'll get a tiny little advert. It's got to be because there's no other way they can make money. Yeah. yeah. So who's going to ring in and give us some updates and tell us what's in store? Oh, no, I don't think anyone's going to ring in tonight. It's just you on your own, darling. Oh. You on your own tonight. Poor old Dino. I know. <laughs> that, that, that's, you know, that, that's me. <laughs> now, what was wrong with you last week? Were you ill? Um, don't you want um, to say? It's, it's, a very, it's a very, very long story. Is I've it an old war about, wound? I've been for about five or six days. Oh, wow. Um, basically, um, what happened was I made this amazing stir fry right quite well, hot for all of the family poisoned and, yourself and um girl Dino thank you and oh. I basically after that had loads of trapped wind uh, 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 don't say anything let me just move on <laughs> and um from there onwards I can imagine I got, the pain mm, well, it, it was and my stomach swelled so badly that it looked like I was almost pregnant and I mean seriously Gosh. and I got rushed into hospital to, uh, to A&E and they did all of these different tests because my stomach had swelled so much yeah. and I, I hadn't been to toilet for like from Friday till when did I get rushed in um, Monday night so for like three days and um, oh it was awful anyway a long story short again is I decided to eat today, but what happened was <laughs> I hadn't been out of the house for, for three days that I got to the hospital. And the reason being is every time I put one foot <laughs> in front of the other, I was going, <laughs> <laughs> and it was too embarrassing to walk to, to go anywhere. Well, at out least the it house. was coming out at last. I wonder what blocked it all up there. I had no idea. But <laughs> it, was like, it was like it for three days. When I got into the hospital, because I got taken in by the ambulance, and then, of course, they had to move me from the ambulance stretcher onto the bed. And as they lifted me up, it was just like one long... And then you felt better? No. No. Um, then they said, um, we may have to give you an ambulance. <laughs> Oh, no, I've no never had one, you. dear. Oh, no. I said, no, thank you very much. Oh. I said, I, I said I'm going to grin. I said, I'm going to grin and bear it. Thank you very much. No, 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 that's not happening. So they said, well, you know, what else do you want us to do? I said, I'll, I said, I'll go home and uh, I'll, I'll grin and bear it and I'll suffer. So I got home and I've still been like it. And of course, what happens when you blow off for that amount of time and I mean I don't know anyone that's been what a subject to talk about um, but get on with it dear 
I don't know anyone that's been blowing off for two or three, four days. I mean, do you? you ever no, heard of it? no, I don't. I'm sure no, that's a kinky thing somewhere. But no, that's, I don't. No, that's I another don't. story. Um, but for three, I mean, obviously your backside is, feels like it's on fire. Well, yeah, I suppose so. I, I, I don't want to get too graphic, but it, a lot of people think it's quite funny, but I tell you what. You We're not laughing. Sit, We're not. You, no, of course you're not. You can't sit down. You can't lay down. You can't walk. You can't put on a pair of jeans. I'm watching you on Periscope, your face, a cheeky cow. Um, but you can't lay down. You can't, t- you can't tie up a pair of trousers. All I've is walking. Eloise I'm, wants to know what was in the stir fry. It was an absolutely fantastic chicken stir fry with a little bit of chilli. But I've still got a swollen stomach, and I've still only been to the toilet once since last Friday. And um, I'm drinking lots of fluids, but oh my God. Are you eating lots of vegetables? Sorry? Are you eating many vegetables? Yeah, I've been eating lots of vegetables. Well, I've been trying. That's what, actually, I only started eating yesterday. So, um, oh, because, right. because I was getting so fat, I mean, it sounds mad, because I was getting so fat and so bloated, I didn't want to eat anymore, I thought I was going to explode. Gosh, that would be a mess, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, needless to say, I, I've been the sort of, perhaps, oh, perhaps I could oh, get you, you know, oh, perhaps I could so get you I to, um, I, I couldn't per- get up and sit in front of a computer because I couldn't sit in the chair. Perhaps I could get you to drink, um, drink, uh, drink some uh, some fence uh, uh, paint. You know what you paint the fences oh, you mean, with. N- n- then like I can the, just n- turn you upside down and say, okay, do it, and then pff, and do my fence like that. <laughs> I'm telling you, it would be, it would dry quick. You're absolutely right. Oh, I'm so sad. That Has anything really like that ever happened to you? Um, yeah, yeah, a couple of times. I can remember but one not, night when not, I was... Not for that amount of time, you well, know, maybe can... for a few hours. And for, oh, 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 dear. and it hurts, doesn't it? It hurts. Yeah, it really hurts. I mean, I can remember one night many years ago when I was working at the Elephant and Castle pub. You should have called in dynamos, Rusty said. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm not sure they'd have been able to help me. Elephant and Castle, yeah. I was working down there, and beforehand, uh, I, as you do... If you haven't got time to cook at home or whatever, you go out and you have something to eat before you start work. You pace yes. yourself, and like you say, then you get to the venue early, set yourself up. And So what I, I, I did this night, I'd set everything up at the Elephant and Castle. It was all ready, all the records and everything were there. And I had gone along to Wandsworth Road mm. <clears throat> out to a restaurant that had something to eat. Right. And I came back in, a, in plenty, plenty time to... Um, to uh, start, uh, I think then I think it was I think it was either eight o'clock or nine o'clock. Yeah. And um, anyway, what happened was I had this lovely meal out, and I'd, I'd taken some friends with me who were coming with me for the night because we had an act on. I can't remember who it was. Such a long time ago, they wanted right. to see. So we went out to dinner, came back to the pub. Anyway, what happened was I had diarrhoea right in the middle of the set, and of course, uh, when you've got diarrhoea and you've got a record playing, you think I've got to get back out there. I've got to get out there. And of course, I couldn't get off the toilet. Does that ever happened to you? Never. I'm looking at your face on the screen at the moment. <laughs> when I had my burst appendix, yeah. for, for a number of weeks after that, I couldn't move too far away from a, lo- a, pub, a, a, a toilet. Yeah. And that Did includes, you work? And that incl- oh, um, I, 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 and then I went back to work too early. I was working at um, the brief encounter one night. Oh, God, yeah. So I'm in the car, and after that operation, you didn't get much warning. So I'm coming up towards Piccadilly, and so, oh, my God, I need to go. I need to go now. Yeah. So this is Piccadilly. This is 6.30 at night. Oh, and I've come from uh, from Kensington Way, okay? So Knightsbridge Way. So I'm coming up towards... Uh, so I'm getting up to what used to be Tower Records. Do you know where I am? In Piccadilly? Oh, Tower Records at where? Piccadilly. Used to be at... Oh, yeah, yeah, on the corner, yeah. So right at the top there. I've come round. Uh, I, I've, I've got to go. I, I have got to go. So I had no choice. I came, I came round the roundabout, round that fountain thing... And then now going down in a straight line towards Trafalgar Square. 
So you go down to the bottom, turn left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Right, I hadn't got to the bottom. I had no choice. I pulled over on the double red lines just behind a bus stop, and I ran into McDonald's. I ran into McDonald's, ran up the stairs, and, 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 and that was it. And I came back out of there. There was a ticket on the car? <laughs> there was no ticket. How lucky were you? There was no ticket. And I thought, well, I, I have no choice. I'm going to have to get the ticket and that'll be it. There was no ticket on the floor. And that's, that's the worst experience I ever had. And this carried on for a while after that. Um, I told Similar things. That, that was the worst time, but at least I made it. Well, <laughs> there was. Oh, do you want to know this or not? Oh no. Um, yeah. Oh, Go on. Do you, you might want to turn off. You won't. I, you, I won't be graphical. I won't ever, ever be graphical. I'll just tell you the main bit of the story. We're waiting. And it was. It was similar, Dino. Similar thing. Some on the motorway. M three. This would be 20 years ago, about 20 years ago, I think. Um, I'm going to go to toilet. Same thing, recently after the, the operation, I've had to ring up my mate. Ron, I need to go to the toilet. We'll go. I'm like, I can't. Why not? I'm on the M3. Well, can't you pull over? I said, no, there's nowhere to pull over. He said, where's the nearest place? I said, well, I have to go through Richmond, through Mortlake. And I said, there's, there's, there's the thing at Barnes. How far is that away? I said, that's got to be 15 minutes away. He said, can you wait that long? I said, no. He said, right, stop and go. I said, I can't just stop. He said, what are your choices? Stop and go or... I said, right, just talk to me for a bit. So we carried on. I said, carried on to, I said OK, Ron, OK, right, I'm stopping now. I... St- <laughs> I... St- <laughs> I stopped on the motorway on the hard shoulder and I opened the passenger door. I walked around the front of the car so the door was between me and the traffic. I'm saying no more. Oh, dear. <laughs> I, I had no choice. I was so bad, ill. I was so... I should never have gone back to work so early. And the day of my two worst experiences... As you asked, it's 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 you know you can have horror stories. No I mean, choice, you, absolutely when, no choice at all. It was either that are, or mess. When you are caught short like that, it's very very mm. difficult. I wonder um, if I wonder if anyone else is going to be brave enough to call in about a, a story like that. I don't know how we've got onto that. This is all your fault, Dino. I know well, you asked me why I hadn't been on here for for, for uh, <laughs> Yes, Rusty, for always in the car. I've got a, a roll of um, kitchen roll stuff. Always, Rusty. And a couple oh. of ca- I also carry a couple of carrier bags as well. Carrier bags and a pooper scoop. <laughs> 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 you, 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 oh, oh God. God! You can imagine, can't you? But I mean, I, I, I can, I can remember um, really when, when, frightened. When does that? When does that? The, when does that? The problem after eating too many peanuts. <laughs> you see, I don't eat peanuts. No, I no, I, I don't teeth. like them. No. Go on, Dino. I can remember like doing going to do n- new venues yeah. and being really nervous. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, like in really big venues, like really big venues. Yeah. And um um before going on stage, you know how you pace backstage back and forwards. Oh, it wasn't yes. always DJing, you know, it it was things like comparing as well because you know People think you're now not and again nervous. you had to compare shows, didn't yeah, you? Not yeah. just DJ. Oh, terribly nervous, yeah. And I used to pace up and down. So sometimes I I would be you know, has because uh, my my tipple is Bacardi and Coke. That's what I drink. That's the right. only alcoholic drink I drink. Um, so I'd been like, I'd knock one back, and you know, I go, Oh God, I'm really nervous. And they'd say, Well, you know, you want another one? I'd go, Yeah. So I'd have two or three, of course, in a space of about ten minutes. I'd go to walk out on the stage, and I would literally fall over where I was almost blind drunk in the space of about 10 minutes just for nerves because my throat was dry and I, oh I, I needed something to drink to calm my nerves and I can remember walking out on stage a good few times at venues that I'd gone to being blind drunk and thinking God what's just happened to me being and uh, being absolutely blotto within like space of 10 minutes because oh, I hadn't eaten good. beforehand did that quick I was only ever drunk at one one do. I was 18 at the time. 
I was going out with this girl, Fiona, my first ever girlfriend. And I was convinced that a friend of mine was trying to chat her up and they both disappeared. So I decided to drink and I got drunk. Never, ever did it again. Once. Mm. 18 years old. Yeah. It, it, it's mm. it's quite bizarre. I, I mean, it's it, sometimes what nerves can do to you, especially mm. if you're in the limelight. And when you're in the limelight, you know you've got to be on absolutely top form. Oh, it's dreadful, isn't it? Dreadful. And especially, you know, and, you know, when you're on that stage, there's only, you know, as a compere or even as a DJ, especially if the booth is on a stage and, the, you know, the limelight is on you, it's, it's those main beam lights. Mm, mm. And people, of course, are so critical because oh, it's, what, yeah. it's the way you dress, it's your hair, it's your shade, oh, it's your they, shiny shoes, it's what you wear. They always moan, they always moan. And it, do you know what it goes Well, in? it's not so bad now, but years ago it was worse. For me, anyway. Why? And, and they were so critical. You could see them going, oh, you know, oh. And that used to make me really, really nervous, too. Yeah, it makes you even worse. Well, I'll tell you what, now it goes in one ear and out the other. I haven't it got does the time now. To I mean, to I don't do it so much these I haven't days. I've got the time to I, listen If to I'm it. asked now and again, but it's very rare these days I, I yeah. do it because I've still got all my stuff. And you know, my, often, my garage is full up with stuff still. Often from, from people in the same sort of business as you. Yeah. You know, just if, if that happens to you, you know, you do it if you ever do this again, you know, and you're on a stage somewhere and someone who does a similar thing to you is criticising, just remember, you're the one working that, not not them. Mm. I went back to do something. Uh, there was a, a, a pub in Tutin that did um, karaoke and um, bingo, and they had a drag queen do the bingo, and I used to do the whole of the show put it all together, yeah. get her on the stage. I said all the bingo tickets, and all she had to do was walk out. This was a couple of years ago. It was just thrust upon me. That was it, was it? Thrust? Was it thrust? thrust upon me. <laughs> and being out of the limelight for quite a while and just going back into it to a pub, which one week started off with 20 people. It was all of the staff from, scary, St. George's, yeah. from St. George's Hospital at Tooting. They would all come in right. after work. And um, so the first week there was like 20 people. The next week there was over 100. Gosh. And by the third or fourth week, it got up like to three, 400. And That's it was to people, the stage yeah. where as soon as it mm. got to the stage where as soon as you stepped on the stage, it was like, Woo! they were all like, they, they had worked you up into that, to a frenzy of, oh, it's starting. It was, it was all like, they were hyping you up as opposed yeah. to the other way around. And it's like, as soon as you set foot on the stage, it was like cheers and, it was just, it was electric for a pub. It was just yeah. like quite unbelievable. I'd never worked in a pub like that before. And, um, you can, and you being, can get a really good reaction in a small pub better than you can absolutely. In often. Absolutely. And to get that reaction in such a small bar, and what made me more nervous is I hadn't done it for quite a while. And to go back and do it again right. was really, really nerve wracking for me. I mean, really nerve-wracking yeah. especially you know you can be an old hand at it and do it every single night of the week but give it a little bit of a break or go away for a couple of weeks and come back it's oh, like yes. it's not like started again yeah and that's that's exactly how i felt it felt like you know it felt like i'd never done it before yeah, being, well. being away and going back and, and doing it again but i've been asked to you know because i've still got all my you know i've got I've probably got about 15,000 records still and you know, CD collection. I've still very, got all of my very, stuff. And people keep difficult. asking me, why don't you, you know, do a night for us here or there? I couldn't go back to it now. It's, it's very too... difficult to go back. That's why I've never left it completely. No, Often I people, when, when, when I've, been, I've been fed up before with it and they say, oh, just take a year out. No, that was the end of it then. If you take a year out, that's it, you're out. And you can't get back in. I don't think you can get back in at my age. Yeah, I, I mean, the other don't. side of it, as you know, I've, I've, I've been promoting and managing pop stars, you know, for quite a few years. Um, mm. I enjoy that side of it, mainly because it's not so much in the limelight. Mm. But I have to say, in recent years, I've been thrust back into the limelight, and it's not where I wanted to, mm. not really where, where I wanted to be. be. I'm quite, I'm quite okay sitting in the background, not taking glory, because I don't like to do that, but I quite like sitting in the background and... Uh, building success for other people i quite like that i get i get a lot of fulfillment mm. being in the background and, and knowing that i'm building a product so to speak i, yeah, I really I do enjoy that. that 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 gives me more satisfaction than anything else and at the moment i'm 
got a couple of surprises in store with some with, with some uh, amazing artists at the a moment. Surprise! And, um, I'm really loving it. Give me our surprises now. Oh, I couldn't because they may be picking your show up. Oh, I doubt that. They won't be watching this sad old. No, not watching it, but they may may be on one of your replays. I can't. I can't. It's quite a biggie. He's not going to tell us, Eloise. He's not. All I'll say is um, she is from down under, and no, it's not Kylie, but it's not far away. Let's just say that. Okay. It's not far away from Kylie. Listen, if you can't get who that is, then you're never going to get it. Oh, I know that is. And, well, um, gonna, I think we're going to leave it here now because it's my yes, bedtime. Yes, my computer's just switched itself off. I think with oh, that Windows it? 10 update. Oh, so, whatever well, that's it is, exciting. Just, well, it just, uh, I didn't say that, Wendy. <clears throat> um, it, just up, it just updated yeah. and it just said, uh, thank you for choosing to something like be, it's just gone off the screen. Thank you for being one of the first people to show an interest in the Windows 10. It has now loaded and things... Well, good I don't luck, know, mate. <laughs> yeah, something, something's going to happen. Did you have to um, uh, unload your stuff first, like your music and all that? No, it just said... Oh. Um, so it's install. just gone over the top of it? It just said install. And then what happened was it, it for about 20, 25 minutes, it was doing whatever it was doing, and I thought, oh, here we go, because I was listening to what you were saying yeah. earlier on. So when it well, have a, have a play with it, and if you can give us, I don't know, a call in a couple of days when you're used to it, and tell me how you feel about it. Well, let's say, oh, it's 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 going again. So, right, I'll leave you to it. All right, Sweet nice dreams. talking to you. Thank you for our lovely long chat tonight, Dino. Yes, later. Cheerio now. Bye bye. And that lovely, very nice indeed to talk to uh, Dino for such a long time tonight. I enjoyed that. Enjoyed our little chat. Right, we're going to leave it there, boys and girls. Thank you very much for joining us for a little bit of a late-night chat tonight. OK. Email address, chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Thank you very much. And it's time to go to bed. Time to go home. Mummy and Daddy are waving goodbye. Time to go home. Time to go home. Christopher is waving goodbye. Theme tune, do you want it? Okay. See you soon. Bye-bye now.